scratch it up. Bring that back. Good DJ. I'm not sure if I mentioned this yet, but I am amazing at video games. I bet that I could be anyone at my age. Unfortunately, Dad doesn't respect my skills. He is always begging me to go outside and do something active. So today, after dinner, when he come, came to me and started begging me again, I tried to explain him how in video games you can play sports like football and basketball without getting all sweaty. But as always, he didn't get my idea. Overall, Dad is pretty smart, but when it comes to common sense, sometimes I am wondering about that guy. I'm sure Dad had disassembled my console if he knew how. Fortunately, it was produced, so it's parent resistant. I'm sure Dad would have disassembled my console if he knew how. Fortunately, it was produced, so it was resistant to parents. Dang, complicated machines. Every time Dad kicks me out to go play some sports, I just go at Rowley's so I can play video games there. Unfortunately, the only games that I can play at Rowley's are with racing and stuff like that. That's because when I bring a video game at Rowley's, his dad checks it on some website for parents. And if there is any kind of fighting or violence, he doesn't let us play. I'm starting to get bored playing Formula 1 with Rowley because he isn't a serious gamer like me. All you need to do to beat him is to name her a car with an idiotic name in the beginning of the game. Then, when you pass behind him, he loses control. Stinky fart is leading! <laughs> Today, I got really bored of beating Rowley, so that's why I went back home. I just ran a few times through the garden spray of the neighbors, so I would look like that I'm sweaty, and I think that Dad bought that. But it looks like the prank went on the other way around because immediately after that, mom wanted me to go upstairs and take a shower. Dad is probably really happy that yesterday he made me go outside because he tried to do it again today. On the way to Rowley's, there lives this really weird kid, Frankly. He is always in his front yard, so that's why it's really hard to escape him. Do you want to see my secret freckles? Uh, no thank you. Frankly is in my gym class, and in school, he's made his own language. As an example, when he wants to go to the bathroom, he says, Juice, juice, juice! Today, I was probably going to go to Rowley's because my big brother Roderick was having a rehearsal in Maine. Roderick's band is terrible, and I just can't stand to be home alone when they're rehearsing. The band is called A Loaded Diaper, but it says something else on Roderick's minivan. Dad wasn't really into the idea of Roderick having his own band, but Mom really encouraged him. She even bought him his first drum. I think mom is imagining how we're all going to learn to play some kind of music instrument and then we're going to become one of those family groups that they show on TV. Dad really hates heavy metal and that is what exactly Roderick's band is playing. Well, at least I think they're trying to play. I don't think that mom really cares what kind of music Roderick is playing and listening because to her all kinds of music are the same. 